Hello friends, this is Stan and Len at Lens Digital. Thanks for hanging out with us today, and we're really happy you joined because we're going to do something real special. Now, as promised in our last video, we're going to be engraving a very challenging object today. A double wall vacuum sealed 67 ounce growler. Now, if you don't already have a pie burn, do not try this at home. Now, Len, can you tell us more about this growler? Uh, sure, Stan, but actually this is not technically a growler. According to Amazon, this is a Hydropic 67 ounce water bottle, double wall stainless steel vacuum insulated thermos canteen wide mouth flask BPA free leak free growler with handle lid black. Growler. I heard growler. So maybe we just call it a growler from now on. But uh, can you tell us more just about the specs? Sure. Uh, well, this holds uh, 67 ounces. It's 12 inches tall and 3 inches in diameter. Please don't panic, yes, I'm talking to you from the future. Sorry, no time to explain, I have to fix this. Here are correct dimensions of the crawler. Height, 12 inches without handle. Diameter, 4.25 inches. I repeat, 4 and a quarter inches. And please, whatever you do... Normally, when you engrave this kind of uh, growler, you want to take the handle off. But with this one, there is no way to do it. We actually thought we couldn't engrave it, but decided to try. So here we go. Now, we'll give it a try. Now, Len, it's also important to point out why our customers would want to engrave something like this in the first place. And here's the reason. They want to offer a differentiated product. They want to do something unique, something that our clients or customers can't find anywhere else. And that's really what the Pyburn enables them to do. It lets you engrave on things that others just can't. So if you want to sell unique products like this, you need the best rotary in the market, the Piper. Okay, guys, let's do this. This growler is very unusual, so we're going to take clamp off. Wait, what? You're taking the clamp off? Chill stand, I got this. Okay. Piper works absolutely fine without clamp unless you're engraving an object that's not balanced, like a big mug with heavy handle. In fact, when you engrave a bottle or growler, you should take it off, because you're going to flip the bottle around, and the back of the bottle will rest on the front wheels. Hmm, interesting. Okay. To remove the clamp, loosen up two M3 screws with provided 2.5mm Allen hex key, and then loosen up big thumb screw until the clamp comes out. We're going to place our big bottle or growler with back side resting on the large wheels. You'll also want to flip back stopper so its wheel is not touching the object and instead adjust flat portion of the back stopper so it's touching the bottle's neck. As you can see, this big handle is no match for pie burn. It doesn't interfere with rotation at all. I've already connected my pie burn and placed it inside my boss laser. Let's level the bottle and try to autofocus the laser head. Uh oh, we got a small problem. There doesn't seem to be enough space. My focal distance from the nozzle should be about 17 millimeters for 2.5 inch lens I'm using. Of course, we can remove blades and place pie burn on the laser floor, but let's try something else first. My pie burn has adjustable magnetic feet installed, and they do add some height. Let's just try folding them down. Ok, let's try this again. Perfect. We're able to focus and there's plenty of room. Now let's prepare our design for engraving. In this case, I want to know how wide my design needs to be. I want to leave some margin, so it looks like I can go for about 22 cm or 8 inches. That's how tall we want our graphics to be. I don't care about width in this case, because my graphics is smaller in height than it's in width. But if you still want to know, just take the diameter of the bottle and multiply it by pi. This will give us over 13 inches, plenty of space. Let's open Lightburn and import our vector image. I'll rotate it by negative 90 degrees, because that's how our bottle is positioned, with its bottom resting on front wheels. 
If you were engraving a regular tumbler, you want to rotate your image by 90 degrees instead. Resize image so it fits on the bottle. And make sure aspect ratio is locked. I changed my width to about 200 mm to give me some margins. Adjust settings as needed. I'm using 60 watt laser, so I'll use speed of 250 mm per second and 60% power, which is about 36 watts. I'm also using a resolution of 300 lines per inch, which equals to 0.085 mm line interval. Make sure fill all shapes at once is checked and flat fill is unchecked. I decided to change my job origin to be in the middle right. And you will see why soon. Click preview to see if everything looks ok. Finally, send job to machine's memory. Just a few more setup steps. Set up and enable your rotary by going to rotary setup menu. Make sure roller is selected and put correct steps per rotation for your machine. Roller diameter should be around 63 mm. That's the diameter of the front wheels on the pipe burn. Make sure to enable rotary. Most important is to slow down your laser idle moves. You don't want your rotary spinning rapidly and barrel flying off the wheels. Don't worry, we are not slowing down engraving speeds. Only the movement between actual engraving is what's affected. Go to Edit menu and open Machine Settings. Lightburn usually automatically loads settings from your machine's controller, but you can always press Read button to load them manually. Before changing the settings, write them down, make a screenshot, or simply save settings to a file. Let's slow down all acceleration parameters as shown. Press right button to save settings to controller memory. Now let's change framing speed on the laser control panel. Press the speed button and change it to 20, followed by Enter. You can move between numbers using left-right arrow keys. Let's position our bottle on the pipe burn. I wanted my engraving to be on the opposite side from Hydra Peak logo. Using handle as an indicator, we place growler so Hydra Peak logo is on the bottom. Remember how I set up origin to be in the middle right side? That's where we want to position our laser starting point. Don't forget to always press the origin button on the control panel after you position your red laser dot. The way machine is going to engrave tumbler is that it will rotate it first halfway down to the starting point and start engraving from there. This rotation before engraving is the reason we want to slow down the acceleration speed. Hit the frame button to see which area is going to be engraved. See how slow it's moving? This is your ideal framing speed. Everything looks okay? Let's engrave this. Design looks perfect. After some quick cleaning and drying, here's the final result. 